What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. Today we're gonna talk a little bit about plateauing, and it's when you see you know, yourself, you know, your skill increase in Tekken, and suddenly it just feels like you hit a wall. You're not improving. Why is this? It's usually a couple of factors. Uh, it can take um, days, weeks, and months to get out of this, sometimes years. And what helps is being very self-conscious and self-aware. Uh, and we're, we're going to get into many factors here. So please watch the whole video. You might fall into one of these categories. Eventually you will come out on the other side you know, and start improving again. But um, this happens to everyone. Happens to JDCR, happens to me, happens to green rank players. Uh, there's no exceptions here. It happens to everyone. And I get a lot of mails, uh, emails, you know, or on my Twitch, you know, like, oh, how do I improve? Uh, we're gonna take a look at all the fact, uh, different factors, so please do watch the whole video if you have the time. You might fall into one of these. What I first want to say by drawing this, these two beautiful faces here, one very happy, and one like this. It's that if you play this game when you're salty, information will come like this, and then boing, it will bounce off your head. If you're happy, you stay positive, information will lodge into your brain. So that information nugget we're bouncing off at angry head. That is your brain when you're very emotional, low in agreeableness and angry, upset. Your brain pretty much closes uh, up to new information. It will just bounce off and you will become dumber. You won't be able to analyze the match. Uh, so staying positive and having fun with Tekken is actually step one to not plateauing. Uh, this rage can build up over... I know this from Tag 2. Uh, you know you know, know me, guys. I've been quite salty with Tekken. I'm getting much better at, at handling my emotions. But if you are low in agreeableness, you know, you might see a specific attack and go like, Oh, that's fucking bullshit! And you get mad, you feel the game is unfair. But if you do that... You, you're just not going to improve. And even worse, if you keep at that, you know, day after day after day, you, you might even stop playing Tekken. But you're sure as hell not going to improve. So you have to work with, you know, managing your emotions as you play. And a good thing here is to try and look at the small victories. Rather than, I should be winning every match. Forget about that. A, a good punish, a good backdash, a good giant swing with King. That's the victory. That's what you should, you know, see as inspiring and motivational. If you only want to win all the time, you're gonna stress out. And that's gonna lead to you plateauing. It's gonna lead, maybe you're, you'll quit the game. And don't needlessly stress yourself. Don't listen to people who say, don't dodge matchups. That's scrub mentality. Learn, get good, le learn all matchups. If you find a specific matchup to be, to be super annoying, like for example facing Kuma, like I can do, there's no shame in just fighting them once and then leaving. That is for the greater good. So you don't have stress, so you don't want to quit the game. There's always, there are 45 characters, there's always someone else to learn the matchup on. There's always a tomorrow where you can learn the Kuma matchup. When you feel ready, do not needlessly stress yourself. Look at the small victories, not the big overall victory. Winning a match, getting more ranked points. Uh, and sometimes it can even be a good idea to take a break. You know, take a break for a day or a week. Come back with fresh eyes. Suddenly you'll see. Uh, or many times you'll see a big, the big picture rather than looking at the small details. You know, I do this with my work. I used to do it as a 3D artist. Ah, oh, staring myself blind at some composition I had made. And then I take a break for a week, I come back, and with fresh eyes, immediately, whoop, that's what I should do. So sometimes you gotta take a break, and especially ventilate frustration you've built up for months. Take a break, a week two weeks and you come back and suddenly you can enjoy the game and you'll feel like you've improved but the only thing that has happened is that you've let go of frustration and suddenly you're thinking clearly when you play yet again and uh, so those are small tips uh, and then I just want to say this is uh, that was the introduction like manage your emotions small victories 
But step two is a little bit more specific. You might fall into this category. When you do your moves, when you play, are you at all times asking yourself, uh, what moves am I using? And why am I using these moves? And this is something I see a lot with my the students I coach. At least half of them play on autopilot. They've built up habits, good and bad habits, and they are ingrained in their DNA. They just do shit. And I always ask them, why did you use that move at that particular time? And why do you even use that move? Why, why did you do that sequence of moves? And m many times I'll tell them, stop doing this specific sequence. It is bad. And then no matter what, they usually do it again and again and again. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's like I'm not thinking. Yes. And I don't want to sound condescending here. I used to have this problem. We all have it. Be very self-aware when you play Tekken and self-conscious. What am I doing? Am I using the appropriate moves? Am I using spacing? What is my opponent doing? How can I counter what he is doing? If I'm getting punished running in all the time into a hop kick, or I'm playing a Lee, I'm running into his back four all the time. Should I maybe stay back? A lot of people just get frustrated, keep running in. It's like, be very self-conscious, have patience. What moves are you using? Why are you using them? Sometimes you might even have to look at a replay of you playing a match and just deconstruct it. When my opponent got damage on me, how did he get that damage on me? Was I needlessly running into counter hit? Was I using unsafe moves that he punished? Was he in my face doing this and I couldn't handle it? I didn't know how to deal with that, that spam. Uh, you, I'm just saying, a lot of people play this game on autopilot and then they wonder, why am I not improving? Well, it's because you have to now adapt. Rather than doing the same thing all the time, try and look at every new fight in Ranked as a new way of playing Tekken. What is my opponent presenting to me and how do I counter that in the most effect effective way? So awareness is really key. Eliminate the bad habits. You know, check out guides on the character you like to play. What are the moves uh, greater players use? You know, am I using bad moves? That's also something I see a lot with students. Like they use, uh, for example, Kazia players, you know, use one, two, two as a poking tool and it's like, you shouldn't do that. But I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, this in a second. Um, I also want to give you guys, um, like if you feel you're not improving, sometimes it can be a good idea to try a new character. This is something that helped me a lot because I've always been a Kazuya or Mishima player. And it's like, that's all I did. But suddenly I started playing other characters that are very different, like Dragonov with his super pressure, Brian who does not have a very scary 50-50, very different. And Noctis, you know, is super easy, spam friendly. All of these characters taught me a new dimension of Tekken. And guess what? When I went back to my main Kazuya, I understood much more about timing, placing my attacks, and using different timings, which is so important. Um, and, and of course, does it uh, improve your defense? Absolutely. So, and this could motivate you in that um, suddenly you find a new character that you have a great interesting, interesting interest in, and uh, the game might feel fresher again. So, if you really want to become good at Tekken, don't play one character, don't play two characters in my opinion. Try and dabble with three, four characters, uh, at least. And give them time. Um, and then... 
Um, what I mean with this is, do you know your own character? You feel like you're not improving, hmm, do you actually know what makes your character tick? And this is something that uh, a lot of people just don't do. Uh, they, they don't. They, they know a couple of details about their character, but they don't know... Um, ...overall, you know, to utilize um, the, the great strengths of their specific character. Uh, I'm gonna lift Brian as an example again. Uh, I've had some Brian students. And uh, they don't utilize, uh, for example, his great keep out. You know, he's a counter hit monster uh, with 3 plus 4, orbital, forward, forward, 4. It's very hard to run in on a good Brian. And it's like they don't understand that. They just run in and they try and pressure, uh, which is great, you know, uh, to utilize his offensive tools. But we've talked about general rules when it comes to defense. But it's equally as important n knowing the the overall strengths of your character. And uh, this is where you want to find good teachers. Go online, you know, to forums and find these people who are good at teaching and who will explain to you your character in a couple of sentences. They will explain the overall bigger picture. They will explain the core of the character rather than getting into details. A lot of people like to say, oh, Brian, use Orbital 3 plus 4, 1, 4, uh, 3, 3, 2 in the back, use his Chains of Misery throw, and it's like, no one is gonna understand how to apply all of those tools magically. Explain the core of a character, and with time, that Brian player will understand on his own. Uh, it will naturally and organically branch out, and he will understand the details. Never start with the details. Look at the core. What is the core of my character? Which usually can be explained in three sentences. No details. And then with that understanding, you can look at the details, the entire moveset, and with time, it will get very clear to you. So, again, do you know your own character? You're not improving. Are you maybe a Brian that's not using the keep out? Are you spamming Snake Edge? Do you understand how to break a turtle with Brian? It's, uh. Yeah, uh, I, I wanna stress this because uh, a, a lot of people just don't understand the character they play. And that is very natural. I'm not trying to sound condescending. This is a very difficult game. Um, it's easy to be stuck in superficial details, but uh, it's, it's very good if you know what your character does really well. Um, so that's something I wanted to get out there. Uh, and beyond this, uh, I've already made a video on general rules. And this is explaining in three sentences, basically, how to deal with matchups. Deal with matchups. And then I've done on frame data introduction. So, uh, do you understand these concepts? Because these concepts are very important if you don't want to get stuck at a specific rank or if you at a specific skill level. This is super important because defense is key. Building momentum in matches is key. Do you know how to pressure someone without leaving yourself open? Well, frame data is going to be very important. Do you know how to punish? Frame data introduction. Watch that video. And general rules. God damn it, I'm not improving. I'm getting destroyed every matchup. Well, find the people who can explain to you in three sentences. This is the general approach to fighting Xiaoyu. Or Jack. Or Claudio. Uh, those people are out there. I'm gonna try and do it, but... Uh, forums, like for example... 
Tekken Reddit sometimes, but Tekken Saibatsu can be good, the Discord. Um, know how to approach matchups. Have a game plan ready when you're in the loading screen and you see the character you're going up against. Oh! I'm going up against uh, Kuma. God damn, this is gonna be annoying. I don't know the matchup. But what I do know is that, that he can't sidestep really. He has a very hard time sidestepping. And I shouldn't do lows because his feet are so far back. Yeah, I can't fall into that trap of having my low with and he down for two ones me. Those are very, very basic rules I described to you there. They take us five seconds to explain to someone. But boy, oh boy, are they gonna help you very quickly compared to just looking at all of Kuma's moves and practice mode and all of his frames, which will you will forget in two minutes after you've been in practice mode. It's much better to remember those few sentences that overall are gonna do so much for you very quickly rather than taking months to master all of Akuma's details. So please take a look at this because it's very important. Uh, so again, I guess I'm gonna try and do a little... Um, we're gonna re recap what we've said. Salt is your biggest enemy. Try and uh, manage uh, emotions. This is done by focusing on uh, the small victories rather than winning a match. And sometimes we have to take a break. Break. Come back, look at the game with fresh eyes. So that's salt. And then we looked at st strat specific stuff. Are you very aware when you play? How much of what you do is autopilot? That is ingrained into your DNA, good and bad habits. Are you forming a game plan in the loading screen? Are you re-evaluating that game plan as you're playing? Making the game plan fit towards your particular opponent in that very matchup. Every single match against a new opponent is, should be a new way of engaging Tekken. And again, the importance of a general rule. Uh, both... Well, do you... God, sorry. Uh, we're gonna get into this again, wait. Uh, are you aware what moves and why do you do them? Understand why. Uh, eliminate bad habits. Autopilot is your enemy. Uh, maybe you can try a new character. Do not underestimate how important that is and how much you learn by playing characters that are very different from each other. Are you a Kazuya player? Why don't you try Hoarang and play a very aggressive character? You're gonna see a very different take on Tekken. That's going to teach you a shitload about timing. Um, do you know your own character? Oh shit. Know your character. As with the general rules, understand the core and then the details will suddenly make sense. Oh shit. Don't do the mistake, as many Tekken players do, and look at the details, and get overwhelmed by them, and then be surprised that you do not understand the core of your character. You have to master the core for the details to make sense. Do it in the correct order, because I made the mistake of looking at details, and I think that everyone else has done that mistake, I feel like. 
And again, I'm gonna reiterate, the general rules of defense will help you more than looking at the entire move list, trying to lab in practice mode and understand frame data. How do I build momentum and stay safe? How, when, when can I punish? How do I punish? Um, so, um, this in my opinion is the typical categories of people who plateau. Uh, this is what I have gone through. I used to salt a lot and I was surprised. Well, why don't I learn anything? Well, guess what? If you're low in agreeableness when you play, you're probably gonna build up a mental defense toward the game where you just, uh, you disapprove of a game and it's like you don't want to learn. And I still have this problem when I fight characters like Alyssa. I shut down, I don't want to learn. Every time I fight Alyssa, it's like I've, I'm fighting the character for the first time. Because as soon as I face this character, I hate the character, nothing goes into my brain. It's a mental blockade. And uh, this happens to everyone who's, who's really uh, emotional when they play Tekken. If you want to become good and not be stuck, you have to go beyond that and look at the small victories. You know, you must adopt a positive mindset. I can't stress that enough. Uh, that is your greatest enemy. Uh, but so, uh, I just hope this made sense to you, that you got something out of it, uh, and uh, thank you for listening to me. I'm very happy you all seem to like these videos where, where I do Tekken lectures. I've put them all in a playlist, so if there's any one of these videos you've missed, take a look at the playlist. Uh, hopefully it teaches you something else. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you for listening to me, and I hope you have a very pleasant day.